So I am in my mom's closet, and she is also gone. But it's because I'm raiding her closet because I leave for Colorado tomorrow. And I have no winter clothes. Like, I have, like, long sleeves, like, obviously. Like, I have, like, a couple long sleeves, you know? But I have no, like, winter coat or, like... And it's cold in Colorado. My mom surprised me with Drake concert tickets. Wait, I want to see her starts. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> the printer wouldn't work last night, though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That's the typical dad song. It's Drake I tickets. <laughs> but then he freaking postponed it because he freaking got his ankle broken. I'm just kidding. I hope he feels better and his ankle's like fine. But he broke his ankle, so the concert got postponed till April something. But we already bought tickets, so I, we said that in a couple vlogs ago. So we already got tickets to Colorado, and my friend wants to tour college. So we're just still going to Colorado. But I need to pack. So right now, it's 44 degrees there. That's insane. And then t um, I leave tomorrow night, and the low is 13 degrees. And then on Friday, 11 degrees, and then the high is 29 degrees, and then Saturday, the day we're touring the college, it's a little bit warmer. It's 14 degrees, that's like the low, and then the high is 38, and then I leave on Sunday. So I think I'm going to steal this one. I told my mom, I was like, if I don't make it back, it's because I froze. Wait, what other clothes does she have? Low-key mom's been stepping up her style. <laughs> so low-key... I hope she doesn't see that. I love you. Like, that's so cute. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Keep It Crazy family. I have some good news and then some really, really bad news. We'll start with the good news. The good news is we got our fireplace working. Yay! We found the remote to it. It was just a remote that you turn on and it was pretty easy, actually. But look how cute it is. Oh, it does kick off heat. Just a little. A little. Do you feel warm and toasty? You want to make s'mores, Liam? Yeah. <laughs> we can't. I don't know how to get in there. I don't think it opens. Yeah, don't break it. I didn't want to mess with it and break it, so... It almost looks like it... Looks like it should just it fold out. It looks like it should just fold out. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Oh. Lift up a little bit. Lift up. Don't mess here. Oh, good. We can clean that. Look how dusty it is. Oh, my. I thought it was a dead rat. Oh, that would have been gross. <laughs> I was like, there's a dead rat in there, guys. So this is just to be able to go in and clean it. I think it's insulation. Yeah. Insulation with a bunch of dust on it. But, yeah. Now that's hot. So if you remove this, it's you can so see cute. it. It's so cute. Yeah. Although, why is there a, how is there a random spot? Kids. <laughs> Kids. Is it hot? Is it on the inside though? No, yeah. it's, oh, on it's, the like it's on the outside. Well, that's good. Then we can clean it. it yeah, it's be hot. careful. Right? It's hot. Are you okay? It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It doesn't like burn, but it like, oh. Yeah, it does. It's burn. pretty toasty. It doesn't burn. But There's a reason why the screen is on there. Fingerprints right. up on there. Yeah, Ooh, it, yeah, you can yeah. feel the heat through the uh, sweat. I'm going to burn my fingerprints off. So this is not the sad news, but it kind of is sad news. Hannah. Hannah's leaving us. What? Hannah's leaving us. I'm actually really worried about you going. Can you walk me to the gate? I hold my I think I need to, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like you, I know my friend and I were talking about that, and we're like, this is our Adult first supervision. This is they're like, this is our we're like, this is our first like trip without our mom. We're like, we need our moms to walk us to the gate. <laughs> I'll walk you to the gate. Actually, only to security because they won't let me pass there. But I know I'm a little nervous, but I I've done it before, but it's like I have to go like three days without seeing it. And I'm like used to seeing you every morning. I like I go and see you. <laughs> this is like a test run if Hannah should move out. Okay. 
It's probably gonna she's be. She's not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do good. Like, I know she's responsible. She knows airports really well. She has good sense of direction. But it's still. I'm still nervous. Then you better call me right when you land, right when you take off, right when you. Right when I take off? Yeah. yeah. I'll pay for the wife. I'll text you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> now we're flying over. Now we're actually over Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> uh, we just got out of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't text me that much. <laughs> no, I will definitely text you and keep you updated. For those of you who don't know, she's going to Colorado, Denver, Colorado. I explained that to him in your closet. Oh, she already explained to you guys. Never mind. We're good. Did you explain I how you broke Drake's your foot? I was skin shirt because I wanted to wear it. Oh. <laughs> it was dirty. <laughs> it is dirty. Yes. I wore it yesterday. Did you explain how you <laughs> broke Drake's foot? Yeah, Hannah broke Drake's foot playing football. Because here's the thing, she has been cursed for yeah. so long. We have bought her so many concert tickets, so many different things, and every single time it gets canceled, something happens, it gets rescheduled, rescheduled, then canceled. Like it's, it's just, and then we finally were like, we're gonna break the curse and buy Beyonce tickets the day of. And I and, and it when, did. It, it broke the curse. And then she went to Drake, which we did by last minute. But this time we planned ahead. This is why sometimes you can't plan ahead, guys, because, you know. That's why you buy the tickets literally the night before you leave. <laughs> Gonna need your heartfelt apology to Drake. Oh, I'm so sorry, Drake. <laughs> Let's break the curse. <laughs> Max has been working on this for a while. It's finally finished. Full suspension is working. What? Then... Why is the front tire smaller? Some motorcycles are like that. Then you can pop this off. Then you can actually see it moving in there. That is so cool, Max. This took That's like the coolest Lego thing I've ever seen. Definitely going on the shelf. Yeah. I pulled it. You let your little sister no. play with it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this took me too long. How long did that take you to build it? I don't know. It took a couple hours. The last half was pretty easy. But the first half, the engine part was the hardest, so. Who gave that to you again? Logan did. Oh, Logan did. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go show it to Oh, it even has the chain? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> she said she really wants an orange, but she doesn't want to peel it. Peel the orange! You can do it! I was tempted to peel it while I was standing over there, but I was like, uh. Nah. Yeah, because I think it's all under your nails. It's a TikTok trend. It's a TikTok trend? Yeah. I know, but then people just, <laughs> you're enabling your kid! You can't even peel an orange and she's 19! No! I can peel it. Look, see, I can peel it just fine. I know, but because you love me, you peel it for me. I do love you. You don't want me to peel your Wait. orange for you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a method Mom, to it. That's I really want an orange, orange, but I just don't want to peel it. <laughs> this is not how we peel oranges. Hold on, I give me all the oranges. oranges to Mom. She wants to Mom, peel Mom says she knows. There's a method to peeling. That one's not peeling very well. I think it's broken. Yeah, there's broken ones. Yeah, look, see? It only comes yeah, out in little tiny pieces. Oh, see? I told you. It's crumble. Yeah. It's like bread. It's kind of a weird orange. Because you have to try to peel it in one piece. That's what I usually do. Mom, I don't actually really want that orange, by the way. <laughs> okay, can you peel this for no reason? That's Hallie's. Yeah, this one's for me. Okay. But now my I'll hands are all juicy. Thank you. Eat it. Oh my goodness, thank you. What'd you lose? I lost her deodorant. I got two deodorants. Probably be the best. Lucas is making dinner tonight. A nice lasagna. No, that's not it. It's this. In your pockets? No, they were both in my pockets. Now one's gone. Go Probably check house. under the bed. Go you the you room. match the bed perfectly. You're like that bed vibes. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Dying my hair. What are we dying it to? Red. Show them the picture. Red. It looks brown in the picture. It's like a reddish brown. Like a maroon. How this idea came to my head was, I went to. She gets credit. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Hallie, but... No, I went on to TikTok, and I went to go film a TikTok, 
But, like, there's, like, this filter, and it, like, is a bunch of different hair colors, and I saw red. I was like, oh, I like that. And so, <coughs> then I went on Pinterest, my best friend Pinterest. That one's, like, a red, brown, and then Those I'm not pretty. exposing my camera. There's nothing bad, but, like, they're just, like, That's pretty. red. And then I saw, and then you know how, like, your phone listens to you. And so I opened TikTok, and this is on my For You page. <laughs> Well, not my For You page, but, like... Oh, it knows. It's time. Yeah, and so whenever I go on TikTok now, it's just... Boom. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna match my vitamin water now. (laughs) You're gonna match your vitamin water? (laughs) My two best friends. (laughs) (laughs) And thankfully, uh, Mark's wife is here to make it beautiful. Mom says she didn't trust herself doing it. I didn't trust myself. Red, I feel like red is the one really scary color because it's hard to get right, right? Yeah. It's like that. Oh, and it's like if you mess it up, it's so hard to fix. It's so hard to fix, yeah. That's well, why I call her because she's a professional. <laughs> she brought samples. Okay, here's her before. Pretty dad. It, Hannah. I didn't shake it. That wasn't me. She spilled Dr. Pepper that all over did. the floor. That was not Aaron. me. Why did you mean that, that was it? not me. You bought it? Did you shake it before you gave it no, to her? No, I didn't shake it. I didn't do anything like it. This is probably isn't the color I'm going to put on just because your base color is going to affect it because this was on, like I said, like platinum blonde hair. Yeah, I'm a platinum blonde. Yeah. <laughs> I have that base, but not so anymore. So we're going we're gonna to use a slightly different formula, but this is like the goal, if that's good with you. It's fine. I, She's easy going. I wish they developed the technology for smell to come through on video because Lucas is making dinner tonight and it smells amazing. Like the house is just, <laughs> what do you got going on in here? Lasagna. Lasagna? Oh yeah. I don't know if you knew this or not, but you don't have to boil the noodles. You don't? No. You, you actually can make them, and the liquid in this is enough to cook it as it bakes. Oh, so I just... Are you following a recipe? Well, I just like the general idea. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you knew that, but you can actually... So you just lay it in the pot, and then it just cooks it? Yeah, 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 you lay the noodles in the pot, and then the there's enough moisture in there normally to, with the ricotta cheese and then the tomato sauce, that that soaks into the noodles and cooks them. And you're good. Oh, well that's easier than this. Yeah, I know. I was like, you don't need to boil water. Good, I didn't have to dirty another pot. <laughs> but it smells so good. Thank you. Oh yeah. I am looking forward to this yeah. lasagna. I'm so excited. Thank you. You can just put that in That's the like the biggest compliment. Oh, I, that was so tasty. <laughs> No bar, no more red face. Mm-hmm. I feel like everyone has to go, has through, red to face. go through red face. Yeah, it's a part of growing. It's a part of your upbringing. <laughs> I love red. It just doesn't stay yeah, in my hair. So that is such a random stuff. What? You have random, random stuff. stuff. Go look in there. I have mints. You need a mint. Why do you have mints in there? I have it's my travel mints. I don't know. They were in my travel bag at one point. Would you like a mint? No. Sure. <laughs> Why you look so confused? That's... Huh? Those are the best mints. My These are so good. Every Friday. Yeah. It's your Friday, Hannah. <laughs> it's Wednesday. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Mommy, what do you I did wear pink. It's Wednesday. We wear pink on Wednesdays. <laughs> didn't you do that last week too? Yeah. I didn't even think about that, that though. I, I really, really don't want it. Oh, Why do you want more red? Hi, 
What are ours? Then my hair's red. You want to do your hair red? Yeah. No, we're please, not going to do that. Please. Nice try. Not yet. When you're a little bit older, we'll dye your hair. Uh -oh. oh, I'm excited. I'm scared. Why are you scared? That looks delicious. It's just like Olive Garden. Does it taste like Olive Garden? Better. That's good. Okay, so you notice anything new about me? There's no earrings. <laughs> you did. She noticed. She took out all of her I earrings. Took all my piercings out. <laughs> I'm putting them back in. So after. It looks so good. We curled it, and it looks so good. Yeah, I like it a lot. I never thought like. I'll go that crazy and do like a full color on my head, but you know, gotta give it a shot. You have to do it at least once in your life. It's fun. Yellow. But it looks so good. I like it. Your hair turned out so amazing. Can't really see it. It looks so beautiful. Okay, here's an after, guys. You can see it. It's really pretty. It's like the exact color you wanted. Like, I feel like it turned out so good. You can like see when the sun hits me. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, I never ended up telling you the bad news. It's actually so sad. So next week was supposed to be Jamie's name change slash adoption date and it got rescheduled. So here's what happened. You make sure your paperwork is right guys when it comes to court things because they don't mess around. All of our paperwork was right and everything was good. And then the lady on the phone was like, oh, they need a copy of the birth certificate, a copy of her ID, and there was one other paper. And I was like, okay. Um, so my mom took Jamie and they went down to the courthouse to turn all that in. And the main clerk in the courthouse took the one paper and then she's like, oh, I don't need anything else. I don't need her birth certificate or ID. So then a few days later, the court called me and we're like, no, we do need a copy of her birth certificate and her ID, sent it all over. And, um, but, so then I, they kind of accepted it. Like they were like, okay, we got this, we got that. But I did the front copy of Jamie's ID, not the back. And Jamie was at school and I couldn't get a hold of her. And I'm like, do I drive down there? But then they sent me an email and they were like, I'm sorry, like you missed the deadline, like the deadline's passed. Uh, so they rescheduled it for March 1st, which is a little ways away. But here was the good thing. And I do think things happen for a reason when it comes to like, I don't know, you know, some, some things happen for a reason, not all. Anyways, um, so, because Jamie's dad kind of really wanted to be a part of it and come down here for it and, you know, be a part of that with her and celebrating her for that. But Michigan's weather is really crazy and, you know, it's winter and all of that. And we would have had to fly there to get him because he's never flown before or carol the airlines. And there was this whole weird thing with it. And I was like, he's not going to be able to come. But now that it's in March, fingers crossed, hopefully he'll be able to come and be a part of all of that. And so... I'm like, it's okay, and Jamie's okay with it, and she's like, actually, it's probably a good thing, so maybe my dad can come. So, it is bad news, but it's okay. Everything is okay, guys. So, anyways, well, thank you guys so much. I almost fell off the chair. <laughs> Don't sit in a chair. I was kneeling on, on the chair, and it was getting a little wild. <laughs> a little wild. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait, there's more news, too. Okay, here's the other thing. So, uh, um, everything just went sideways. Everything just went sideways. Hannah going to the Drake concert and then, you know, that got canceled and she was going to go to Denver. Today she was supposed to leave. This morning, her friend texted her a test, of, or the friend she's going with to Denver, uh, texted her a positive COVID test this morning. So she would not have been able to go. So Hannah did cancel her Denver flight. Um, but had Drake not canceled his or rescheduled his concert, she probably would have still got COVID and then Hannah would have had to scramble to find someone else or she wouldn't be able to go because she would have been by herself and it would have been this whole thing. 
So that's why I say like some things happen for a reason and it's like you don't see the bigger picture till like things start making sense. So um, we're praying for her friend and then everything, you know, she recovers quickly from COVID. And, and Hannah's not coming to Denver, not until April. So yeah, that's the news too. So she packed for no reason last night. <laughs> Anyways, and I kept being like, are you packed, are you packed, are you packed? And then she came down this morning and she's like, See? I knew it. <laughs> but anyways. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye.